Alex Jones reporting from home. It is Saturday, and Obama uh, just gave a big speech at the White House Rose Garden. All week, I have been explaining on the radio that this is the biggest diplomatic implosion that I've seen in my lifetime. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts uh, calls it the biggest in U.S. history. A, a, a total meltdown in world confidence, not just in the globalists that have hijacked the U.S. executive, but in the mainstream media itself. The entire power structure is just collapsing right now. The same type of thing we saw before the Berlin Wall fell in uh, East Germany and before the fall of the Soviet Union. It is that big. You have Pat Buchanan coming out saying it's clearly a false flag that the rebels stage the chemical attack. You have Ron Paul saying it. You have Rand Paul saying, why are we sending our boys to fight with Al-Qaeda? And believe me, there's U.S. commandos on the ground there. The entire agenda of the megabanks that use America as its attack dog is coming out. England voted yesterday for the first time in 200 plus years since 1782 to not authorize the prime minister to launch a war. So everybody's asking, well, why doesn't Obama have to do that? He does under the Constitution. He does. It's, it's, it's a high crime, impeachable. But Congress hasn't called him on it until now because the American people have woken up and we called Congress on it. That's why I've been talking about this every day. This is how you turn the tide of tyranny, folks, incrementally pointing out the lies. Let's play a short clip of this video. After careful deliberation, I have decided that the United States should take military action. He has decided. Syrian regime targets. But he'll go to Congress. Should not be an open-ended intervention. That's a lie. Put boots on the ground. The West has been aiding it for two and a half years. The action would be designed to be limited in duration and scope. But I'm confident we can hold the Assad regime accountable for their use of chemical weapons. So basically what he does in the first part of the speech, you can go watch it, most of you have probably seen it, is declare victory. Okay, we've, you know, we're, I, I have decided, he has decided, not the Congress that controls the power of the purse and the military. He has decided, so he restates the fraud that he has the power to do on his own. Then he says, we know they use chemical weapons. When his own State Department says it doesn't matter who used them, we're going to go in. So another lie. He's been talking 27 seconds, and it's a couple lies and giant frauds they're pushing. And then he goes on to basically say that there'll be terror attacks in America or in the West if we don't go after Assad when they're funding Al-Qaeda for two and a half years as the main rebel force to go in and take over. It's an amazing speech, but he says he will go to Congress to get the approval because he's a constitutional lawyer and he understands that. When you can pull up articles from just two days ago where they were saying they don't need approval. So again, more flip-flopping, more lying. It's an incredible minute and a half video if you want to go watch it. We're also going to link it up on InfoWars.com. Here's our article uh, about it, where I'm also going to have the video added. Under colossal global backlash, Obama holds off on serious strike. Obama decides to follow the Constitution for now and seek congressional approval for Syrian military strike. They're already striking them with the rebels and heavy arms in media arms, but they mean an official bombardment that, that he implies is small, that's no big deal. Why don't you get a new peace prize then, Obama? Even Putin's making jokes about Obama's peace prize with all the wars he's launched. Here's the big issue. House GOP has said, you've got to get congressional approval, or we're going to basically come after you and, and impeach you. That's what's going on. That's one of the big issues. And, again, the British voting not to do it. That is absolutely freaking out the power structure. Does America really want to be the bad guys like Hitler or the Soviets and be taking over all these countries? It's really amazing. And here are some of the stories up on Infowars.com breaking that down. Pat Buchanan saying it reeks of a false flag. That also links to the Ron Paul video. That's from StoryLink.com. Uh, we have Kurt Nemo breaking it down. We have Paul Craig Roberts, America is totally discredited. This is a very important article calling it the biggest diplomatic collapse in history for the U.S. I don't know if that's completely accurate, but it's definitely a big one, but I respect Roberts' view on that. Uh, look at this. Member of Congress berates Obama for consulting Congress on Syria. It's not consult. He's got to get approval, a vote an authorization specifically saying what it is so it won't be open-ended or unconstitutional. And, of course, that's Peter King, the warmongering 
pro-police state guy. Here's another Washington Post article. David Cameron asks permission to strike Syria. Why hasn't Obama? Well, now he's now he's being forced to do it. So this is the reality of what's getting broken down here. This is so huge. I don't even have words uh, to describe what a giant sea change uh, this is. This shows the sleeping giant that is for humanity uh, is beginning uh, to awaken. Uh, and a lot of pop stars are now coming out uh, against war and against Obama when it was only popular for people in media to come out against war when Bush was doing it. So this is clearly an illegal war. It's clearly a false flag. The whole narrative is imploding. I've never seen anything like this. This gives me faith in humanity. Just like the Supreme Court ruling a few months ago that we do own our genes and companies can't patent them and then not let us have our own gene therapies. There, there's a lot of good things happening, not just bad stuff happening, because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's just physics. And there's a lot of tyranny happening, so there's going to be a lot of good happening. So have faith out there. You can see our Russell Brand interview on Syria. He joined us yesterday. That's all up on Infowars.com. We'll continue to have updates on this and on the radio tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. Central with the Sunday transmission. But have faith, folks. Take action. And great job to the entire alternative media that even Zbigniew Brzezinski two days ago said is stopping this and, 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 and subverting the mainstream media and that their paradigm is crashing down. Go look it up. They are panicking, folks. We're on the march. The empire is on the run. And the man-child, uh, New World Order puppet, teleprompter reader Obama, and Hillary the witch and all of them, and, and the... The uh, Franken, you know, food, uh, ketchup, uh, Baron, uh, with all the Botox, uh, the Secretary of State. I mean, they're all just jokes. And the minute you realize they're men behind the curtain and that they're frauds, they're about two inches tall. So have faith, take action, spread the word. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. Want to be clear, Assad's no angel either, but the West started this fight. The West is putting people in ten times worse. And under common law and common sense, that is criminal. And I will not lend my name to it. I am speaking out against it, not in my name. So you speak out as well if you stand against this tyranny.